Yeah, I'll react to that, sure. Oh, uh, okay. Rugby video. Hardest hits you will ever see. Rugby is for beasts. Big hits, bump offs, and tackles. Die hard rugby. I'm not subbed. I am now. Preemptive like. Been a while since a rugby video. I want to do another uh, soccer football for you guys. Man, I've never... Uh, it's, people get upset. When, okay, let's go. Let's do it. My name's Connor. Original link to the video. Top of the description. Right below that link to the Discord. Click on it. Send right over there. Love to have you. Let's do it. Rugby time. Cleans up and puts on a bit of foot. Oh. And then he runs straight into big farmer silly. Oh, the head snap back. That's the worst part. Oh. That seems okay. It worse. I love the, uh, the, the, like, when, when they're, like, when they're, like, picking their feet up, their legs up, going forward. When, when he hits them, and then, the, ah. Uh. I didn't even... I'm just waiting for him to... Ah! Nicely done, the other guy. Oh, jeez! I, I gotta stop re rewinding. Those are two pretty well matched. Nicely done. Chasing, chasing a deep, and he's got burn there. <laughs> Give him a wedgie. That was good. That was fair. That was. That was. That was in the rules. That was a good play. <laughs> I love seeing these, like, the guys that just look so powerful when they run and just so aggressive. Just ready. Nicely done. Guys, I have to admit, and I'm not just saying this because I know this will make you guys, I'm not like, I'm not sucking up to you guys, I'm, I'm just saying something that is a fact. 
So with foot like football, American football, it's like you you got the pads, and so I always pictured rugby as obviously a really physical sport, but never having to deal with some of the head-on collisions. Um, that I still think the worst of the worst is in football when, uh, usually when either a kick return, or a punt return, kick re- uh, whatever. Or a uh, when the wide receiver is going out for a pass and only paying attention uh, to the football, and then they catch it and then get nailed right away. So it's like two guys going full speed at each other, and even with helmets and gear, I mean, you, you, it's not going to protect your head. But I had this image of rugby, a very brutal sport, but didn't encounter the same sort of tackles as violent tackles that are in football in foot american football god this is confusing um and so they kind of equaled out in toughness but and i know this is a compilation and so these are a compilation of big hits and so it's not like this is what it looks like every play i get that but man are there so many enormous tackles with no padding whatsoever uh it's more ruthless than I imagined. One more pass there, it would have been an overlap. That's but done with my chance for Watson spiel. and WP to come away. Oh, good hit, Andy Powell. Look here. He's going to have a little half break. Cockets. Out it goes. Run straight over the guy now. And over halfway as well, Felipe Nogossi, what a break by the winger. Still on its feet, beautiful support as well. I didn't even see him pass the ball off. There he is. Go, man, go! Straight into the Actually, the guy did a pretty good job stopping him. Yeah. Kind of impressive on both sides there. Okay, it's not that bad. His head didn't really slam the ground, so... Slightly, but not much. He was ready. Wow, that's impressive. Look how thick his legs are, too. Look how quickly that guy knew right away. He was, like, waiting for this guy to pass it. Look how big his legs are. Jesus. Across the back line they go. Our mark to the left. Moyano. What happened? Moyano. Re- replay, please. How did he do that? Oh, question, guys. Quick question. Um, with the uh, head headgear here, like the kind of... I, I don't even want to call it a helmet. Just like the head kind of ear and slight ear protection, slight padding. Is that for a specific uh, position that tend to use it? Or is it kind of like the, the neck brace in American football, which is kind of like just a personal choice thing? So, like, is everyone allowed to wear these? It's just some choose to and some don't. Popping to McDermott. Alive there for a corner who gets absolutely jammed. You guys see those one guy's legs before? I mean, I was, like, pointing out. Kahui. That announcer. Taken by Sam White. 
I have to ask another question, guys. How is New Zealand and and Fiji or Fiji Samoa? I think those are one of those is good too. But I, it's it amazes me when a country with not a lot of people, because you you have if you have less people, you have less of a pool of people to pick good athletes from. And when such a small country is so dominant in a certain type of sport, that just makes it exponentially more impressive than if a larger country with a bigger population pool, just to get like these physical um, freaks of nature, um, which it seems like New Zealand has a lot more per capita great rugby players than, than most areas. And at first I want to give it up to, oh, they must have a longer tradition. But I mean, we are, it's 2020s and rugby has been a big thing in many countries. And they're still like considered the best or the top two, top three. It's amazing. I guess that wasn't really a question. It was just a statement slash, am I wrong? Argentina? He got hit, but he, he kind of kept fighting right away. That was a strange tackle. What happened, man? His stomach went one way, the ball went the other. Oh! Cummins to his second That's row, Martin Amafu. Oh! Like, there's got to be so many cleats to the face and stuff. I'm being a sword boy. Amazing, awesome guys. Yet another great rugby video. It's it, another. It's crazy. Everything's crazy. But what else is crazy is how you can tell. Like like I said with uh, the wide receiver in football, like the nastiest hits that you you see are usually when they're concentrated on the ball. It's not that obviously they 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 should expect someone coming to hit it, but you got to concentrate for the ball, and you can just tell the the hits where the person is not ready for it how much of a difference it makes like how how much of a like we we prepare our bodies for like when, when we get like a second notice when a hit's coming to kind of like tense up and and tuck the neck in a little and get ready but when it's not you don't exactly know what's coming then everything is kind of loose and and uh you hit them and like the neck goes weird things and if you get hit into the ground you're you're not like this. You're you're kind of loose, and then your head snaps back out, and and hits the ground. Like when you're not ready for a hit. Like isn't that how? Uh, who's the magician? Houdini. Isn't that how Houdini died? Like he was doing like the punch to the stomach trick and wasn't ready or something. Or like how if you uh, survive a really long drop into water, you have to like get ready, and it's just. It's brutal, and you can tell when the person just isn't bracing for impact. Awesome. Sorry if I was pausing too much. Love it if you could answer some of the questions. I'm getting more into uh, back into rugby, cricket, darts, a bunch of other sports that are big in certain countries that I never really knew about. Of course, I knew about rugby. You know what I'm saying. I'm loving these videos. See you guys. See you guys next time. Hope you're doing well. Really do. Mental health is no joke. If not, chin up, my friend. You'll be good soon. Don't worry. Emotions are fickle. See you guys next time. Bye.